Hey guys, I'm Cody Gentry. I'm just going to upload this video today and show you a couple really cool tricks in Pokemon Go that I figured out. I didn't see anything on YouTube about it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and upload it and see what you guys think about it. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is how to get unlimited steps in Pokemon Go. It's a really cool trick, and within that trick you can do a couple extra things that's actually kind of cool. You can, first of all, get the unlimited steps. You can possibly possibly reach other Pokestop locations that are out of your reach. Now these are Pokestop locations that are gonna be like across the street, a little bit out of your reach, that you, that you know just, just a little slightly far away from your house that you can't quite get to. Um, so this is a trick to possibly get some of those. Okay? Another thing is it's also a decent trick to find Pokemon. I found when you're next to a lure module or you have an incense on, the more walking around that you're doing, the better chances you're gonna have in actually finding a Pokemon. And when this trick is working, it has you walking around a lot. So you will probably pick up a little bit of extra Pokemon. So it'll give you those extra steps for your eggs. It'll give you possible Pokestops. And it'll also help you find some Pokemon. So this is a good trick to use. Whether you can go outside and walk around or you're a shut-in and you just want to spend the day indoors playing Pokemon Go. Let me go ahead and show you. Hey guys, sorry for the weird transition. This is the only camera I had and I had to rotate it around. So... It's 2009 iMac. I'm sorry. I'll probably get a better camera down the road, so right now it's going to have to do. Alright, so the reason I actually had to switch it was because it is my only camera, and there's a trick to this. You have to have Wi-Fi to do this trick, okay? You will need Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can go to Starbucks or something that will have Wi-Fi, and the trick should work there. Um, however, it defeats the purpose of having to leave your house. So, I guess there's that. So, the one trick about this is you have to be away from your router. You can't be right next to your router. It will cause some problems for you. Start rotating the camera as I'm doing this. All right, so what you're going to be is connected to your Wi-Fi. So there I am, my Wi-Fi. I apologize for the horrendously crap screen. Um, I do not have like the technology that most people have. So for whatever reason, I'm sorry. All right, so you have this open. You have your Wi-Fi on there. You'll load up your Pokemon Go app. What's going to do is it's going to have to load Connect to Pokemon Go, and then it's connected to your Wi-Fi, so your Wi-Fi router is saying, hey, this person is at this location. So there I am, right next to my Pokestop. That is my apartment. Okay. Pokestop right there. Nice. I'm not going to swipe it. <clears throat> so some nice thing about having the Wi-Fi, as some of you might know, you might get a couple extra steps as it's trying to pinpoint you where you are. Same thing with your GPS. It'll do the exact same thing. But that's what we're going to take advantage of. So what it's going to do, yeah, it's still trying to pinpoint me. What we do is in the app, wait, let me make sure to let you know that I'm still in the app. Shop, there's the shop. Boom, shop, okay. So yeah, it's 600 something coins. Yeah, I spent real money on this game. It's fun, leave me alone. All right, so you load up the thing, swipe it up. This is a, just a swipe up to access your quick tools on your iPhone. This isn't confirmed on an Android or Windows phone, so feel free to mention in the comments or anything like that, if you know it does. I would imagine it would, but you just disconnect from your Wi-Fi, connect, and you're just gonna go. I mean, like I said, the farther you away you are from your router, the better it's gonna be. I'm not saying constantly move around because then you are moving and the trick won't work. I mean, obviously it will, but you know, the trick is you don't have to move for this. <clears throat> so there it is. It's just gonna, he's gonna walk around, try to pinpoint your location, connect with GPS. Mine will do this for about a minute, minute and a half sometimes. Um, it'll take a while to pinpoint your location. All I do is just sit there. And then once it finds a spot that you that it thinks you're at, you know, my guy will do this for a while, like I said. So when it when he when he is still, when he isn't moving anymore, what I will do, you swipe right back up, connect to Wi-Fi. And the cool thing about this is this isn't just an unlimited steps trick. Okay? Yeah, it re kind of resets it. Um, this isn't an unlimited steps trick in, its, in itself. It's actually a way to reach other Pokestops, too. Um, just re disconnect and reconnect, and sometimes your guy will just move. I have gotten my guy to walk across into this field with this trick. And he's walked over. I've, I've gotten both both of those Pokestops across those fields from this trick. So even if you're, even if, even if it's not working, your router's being stellar, it's like, nope, you're here, and then you disconnect your phone, your phone's like, nope, you're here, and it's doing a fantastic job for whatever random reason, you still can use this trick to some degree 
granted, hopefully it's not working 100%, to sometimes reach some of those poke stops. I know that can be a challenge because Pokeballs and potions are kind of hard to get if you're not next to a poke stop, like I am. But you connect this, it will walk you over there. See? It's starting to walk across the street right now. I get this poke I get this poke stop all the I get that poke stop all the time on this trip. I always get I always get both these poke stops all the time. Um, so it's a really good trick to use, especially if you have a problem, you know you can't take any steps outside, you have to walk. Um, I usually use this trick, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I usually use this trick. Um, if I have been walking all day, I will try to do those 5k walks for some of those eggs when I have a day off, have some downtime, and it's just, it's just too much, you know, especially when you have 10k eggs to hatch, it's too much. So yeah, you want to split up into some days, but at the end of the day, you know, you've been walking all day, you want some reward for all your walking, and hopefully it's not taking you all day to do the 5k steps, but probably will take you all day to do the 10k. So at the end of the day, you know, I don't see any problem with getting some extra steps in from your comfort of your bed, from your bedroom. Just be away from your be away from your Wi-Fi, your router, and uh, yeah, just disconnect and reconnect, and it'll get your steps in, hatch some eggs, and it's a nice trick to also reach those poke stops. So there it is. That's my. This is actually my first video I've made. Um, sorry that the video quality is crap. It's on an iPad nine. And my, you know, my phone's cracked. The back camera on here is smashed. I can't use it. I can't. It looks like crap. You might see in some of my other videos because I might not have a choice. So thanks for watching the video. Like if you like it. Um, yeah, nice little tricks for you guys. Actually, I have my little wireless mouse over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn off the video. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.